Hey, hey, hey! Here they are and everywhere. We're back on road again. This uh, this weekend it's brought us to Morecambe. <laughs> and a sunny Morecambe at that. Just take a look. This is our view in the morning. We got here very late last night and, uh, you know, it always raises a smile when we see a nice sunny day. But what's gave us even more of a laugh is we've actually seen a caravan just there, which was there last night and the stabiliser legs are down, so I hope they've had a very good night's stay. <laughs> uh, I didn't realise caravans were using these apps like Park for Night and Search for Sites, but maybe they are now. Well, there are quite a few other motorhomers around, and it's quite good actually on this seafront. See the sea to your left, and uh, a very rugged motor on there. Looks very well prepared for anything. Morning. Morning. And we did see another fellow Talbot here. And you see the, hopefully you can see it, the legs are down at the back for stability. Yeah, there's some absolutely lovely motorhomes here. Many of them newer and, and uh, more expensive than the ones we have, than, than ours. Just a bit. <laughs> we did see a fellow Talbot here, didn't we? I think this could be it. Now, yeah. Yes, at the end it is. Kill one, isn't it? That's compact, isn't it? Yeah. So these are the nearest facilities to where we parked and the cost of spending a penny is 40 pence. I don't know how that would work in a cashless society. There could be a lot of people struggling. We're also not sure as shops where we've parked. We've got Morrison's, Aldi, B&M, home base. Hopefully nothing will fall apart. <laughs> and uh, we're just going to have a little walk and explore the various sites. That's an interesting park up. I can't remember seeing that one in park for night. So this is quite interesting. You see a load of little quotes and I'm going to walk backwards to show you this the correct way up. So if it all goes wrong, um, you will know about it. And so will I. And then at the end of it, getting near the end now, were some footprints. Just wondering if I've missed them. Now I'll just turn around, this is the other way. It's a really interesting feature walk and it's it's designed I think so whichever way you you look you're walking you've got something to look at. So I worked out where the footprints are now. I lost sight of them for a moment. But at the end of it, you get to stand in the footprints of others. Smaller feet than me. You get the idea. So what we're thinking about doing is having a walk up the front, like the shop's end, and she's found a shop, it's got clothes in it, and then maybe walk back all along the seafront it's so de deep um, in, in Markham and it looks like there's a little kids activity there oh big, big kids, kids activity <laughs> yeah and if you feel like you're a prepper you should be in your, in your element with the army surplus store So this is the Winter Gardens and it's a, it's a theatre, so <laughs> there's quite a lot of entertainment in Morpham, it's proving to be better than I imagined. 
And look at just swing over there, dear. Look at that view. Looks right lovely, on. doesn't it? Yeah, it's gorgeous. It'd be nice to get in the sun. We're currently in the shade at the minute. You'll have to cross over. Yeah, well, we're just going to keep walking up here and exploring. Want to look in a charity shop, Katrina? Oh, let's go and have a look in that shop. Let's have a peruse. <laughs> What's a pretty one? Nice and colourful. Yeah. Oh, like a good like jigsaw, don't you? Could you imagine doing that one? It's all black and white. Yeah, they all look about the same, Ooh, don't they? Oh, nightmare jigsaw. A monochrome jigsaw. <laughs> like the uh, Gibson ones are always it's good to Very get. busy, they're the kind of ones you like. Yeah, plenty of colour. It's a 500, that. Perfect for motor arm. Yeah, not too yeah we don't have time for a thing. Oh, it's not, the, it's not the time, it's the space. It's The 500 goes nice now on the table. Look in there, look in there. Oh, I'm looking all right. Is it out good? Just round. Round well, that was quite a well-stocked, reasonably priced charity shop. And uh, what exactly have you bought, Katrina? Well, bought some CDs. Um, best of the Bee Gees. Ooh. Chicago. This one you chose, I wouldn't have chose that. Yeah, I listened it to it a long time ago and I liked it. Totter Whale Shoes, I mean Crocodile Shoes, and then Dion Warwick the Love Songs and Vivaldi Four Seasons. Yeah. A Quidsworth. And then Five I for got a, quid there. Um, a Jigsaw, a 500 piece. Yeah, that was two quid, wasn't it? That? Yeah. Really well priced and uh, well chill. I'd recommend that. I think if we're ever this way again, We'll, uh, we'll come back there. So we've got a panoramic view across the coastline. And I'll just do it on the camera. And then the Rotary Club have been kind enough to map everything out. With all the little places. And there is a, a telescope. Quite nice here. Bit of bingo. There's always a few bingo queens, isn't there, Katrina? Yeah, I'm not really into bingo. Oh, I can remember causing a stir because I, I weren't playing a game. But the good news is, when it got to the the interval, I was first in the queue at the bar for the drinks. Yeah, you were one of the to observe, weren't you, Dave? Yeah, I was just keep, <laughs> keeping a watching brief, and it, it didn't go down too well at the local bingo. Yeah, it does have a, a lovely promenade. You can actually cycle on this too, you've got to share it. And uh, they're not particularly keen on dogs here, which is a shame. And I'm sure there'll be somewhere to facilitate them. More lifeboats. Seems to have gone, undergone a scheme of regeneration. I would hazard a guess. Probably spent millions on it. So we found the sandiest part of the beach by the look of it. So there is somewhere to come and make some sand castles or whatever floats your boat. Some sand in your creases. It is quite a long way to the sea. And it does look a bit sticky getting there, so I think you can come unstuck in Morecambe quite easily, or rather stuck. Well, I think um, you've got to be careful with tide as well, haven't you? I know yeah. there was that bit of a disaster with people that were cockle picking so many years ago. Oh yeah, that was a while back now, mm, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I think there was a fatality it. involved. Yeah. Cockle picking in Morecambe Bay. And something went wrong. That's the clock tower ahead. Um, there are toilet facilities and a chip shop there. That's not uh, a million miles away from where we parked. So that is all the places in the panoramic view. It's quite good that. 
but that took a while to build. We are smack next to a cycle route number 69. I think there is a good bike ride. I mean, we haven't got any bikes, but I think that that will happen at some stage if you stay tuned to our channel. Are you doing it, Katrina? Yeah, I'm just going to see what it brings up. Yeah, it could be good. It could be a load of dross. You just don't know, do you? Oh, it's so. Um Bits and pieces. Yeah. So many lovely things in Morgan that they're doing it now. Oh. But sadly, you know. That's quite a nice little park over there for the kids. And that mound seems to be causing them some amusement. And one thing we have noticed, and we need to mention it, is we've got a statue of Eric. That we'll go up and have a closer look. Bring me sunshine Wave your smile Bring me laughter All the while You just can't resist <laughs> that You know you'll not be the first And you'll not be the last No I won't In the it's, it's really nice, it was actually vandalised wasn't it? There can be And uh, they, they took it away Repaired it And restored him to his former glory The other queen Unveiled it. And it says to take care on the steps. It's quite a lot of reading to do. Trina's just going around in circles, having a good read, aren't you? Say, so you're going around in circles, having a good read. Got me spinning round, yeah. Make you dizzy. So Katrina scanned it all, and this is the most intriguing ring. So I'll just walk around this. So you can have a little read. It's like subtitles, isn't it? It does make you dizzy, doesn't it? And there we go, We're full circle. Off. It seems that this circle... Yeah, one ring out, you've got the, the stars on the shows now. Just see Shirley Bassey there, which is, uh, I understand Markham and Wise did have a habit of getting Shirley Bassey on, where she just refused to go on anybody else's show. So kudos to them. We've got another QR code. Andy, if you want to learn a little more and you've got a pair of earphones, or just blurt it out on speakerphone. Take your pick. Ooh, look what seen? I've seen. Oh, what have you seen? I've seen a parking Hitler. Ooh, look what I've seen. I've seen Dicky Bird. Dicky Bird? Yeah, Dicky Dicky. <laughs> oh, yeah. Both are rare sights. Yeah, maybe it's a bit early for them and they ain't quite got going, but we've just seen the first glimpses of life at this fairground. Some guys going around checking the machines. That asteroid were flashing. That ride. Another lifeboat station. That makes it two. So we're just going to have a, a closer look at this unique looking lighthouse by the look of it. So we are on what is known as the Stone Jetty. And it's a bit like a pier, except it's it's made of stone. It's not suspended in any way. So we've just learnt that this stone jetty was in fact a, a railway terminus serving the Irish and Scottish ferries. It's interesting to know. Yeah, definitely no folly. Oh, yes, yeah. it's there, yeah. It's round. Oh, look. 
And it goes on a little further before we drop into the sea. So this is the lighthouse and uh, I'll actually put Katrina in it for scale. <laughs> and we're going to go, it's not very tall really, that's a titch in terms of lighthouses, but it is quite interesting. Very art deco. So we found this arrow with a line uh, above and I believe that that is a map reference point, you know, on an Alderdon survey map. Come over here, come and have a look at this. What exactly has caught your eye there, Katrina? Um, I'll show you. They ah. sell big man's sausage. That could be nice. It could be very satisfying. Oh God. <laughs> you never know till you try it. Do you think Elton John's selling off his collection? Do you know some <laughs> quite fancy them? Well, like you're crying, don't they? Oh. Crystal's dropping down off it. Depends which way you wear them. Oh, yeah. Oh, they look, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> this is the second dog charity shop we've came across. And uh, I'm wondering if they think more of the, the dogs than the, the people here in Markham. Look after the, the poachers. <laughs> and more importantly, we found the, the spoons. The Eric Bartholomew. So we thought we'd call in and get a couple of pints of Worthington's. What do you think? You know I like it. It's just we love it, don't we? Flow. I like I like technically smooth and flat, so that's why I like this, because it's not gassy. Yeah. Cheers. 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 And that didn't disappoint. Well that's another weather spoon's ticked off the list, isn't it? It is, eh? We'll have to have a, a run, run a tally of where we've been. We're clocking them up, aren't we? We are now. So we're now going back to Motorhome for a lovely cup of tea. Bring it on. Yeah. <laughs> Since we've been rained off, why not? Been caught red-handed. You have? Eating You've been rumbled. Cake. I've got my cake to eat here, a bit of Swiss roll. And, uh, I've got us a cup of tea and we're going to do a jigsaw, we think. Nice cup of tea, Dave. Yeah. I haven't tried mine yet, but I'm looking forward to my Swiss roll. It's nice. Well, it's uh, a fond farewell to Markham. And what we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to just have a little drive up the seafront just to show you everything on our way out. Off we go. So all these, I've had a freebie this uh, weekend, so you're free to park. Um, yeah, no machines. No machines. Um, just get yourself a space, get tucked in. A little bit of road noise during night, um, settled off. Weren't too bad, I think it's a lot busier in daytime. Yeah, we've, we've, we've had a lot worse with the road noise and one thing I did learn, you know, when I went back to the van is uh, this Cycle Route 69 um, it is actually quite a, a long cycle route it's 50.1 miles and it goes all the way to Grimsby So, despite the rain it's been a nice little jolly, it's somewhere I've never been before and um, it's nice. I prefer it to Blackpool, it's not as, as manic and as chaotic. There's stuff to do um, and it's more unspoilt really. Yeah, there's amusement arcades if you want them, a bit of rah rah if you want it. And if you don't, you can just relax and enjoy the peace and quiet of the seafront. Yeah, all good. You get to see um, Eric Markham. And his statue. But Markham did not really bring us sunshine. No, he didn't this time. Well, he did, did for a while. Only for a while. <laughs> anyway, why don't you like and subscribe?
um, plenty of adventures to be had, so keep watching this space.